Hey everybody, I'm out in this great red pine grove today. I'm gonna to show you how to tie a ridge line faster than you've ever known before. So stay with me. All right, everybody, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be expanding on an idea from Sean Kelly from Corporal's Corner. He's got an amazing YouTube channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Make sure to check him out. I'm a self-taught woodsman, and he's been an amazing guide through my journey on learning how to do some of these things. Uh, former military, instructor at the Pathfinder School. I mean, his resume goes on and on and on. He's got videos going back a number of years, and he's one of my favorite guys to watch. Always posts great content, always puts out consistent good content every week. So definitely check him out at the link in the description. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building on an idea for his quick deploy ridge line. Most of it's the same. I've added a couple of my own little tweaks and we'll show you how those work. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab between 25 and 50 foot of paracord, take one in and tie a bullion. What we're gonna do is just rotate it over. Come out of the hole. Go around the tree, and then back through the hole. Pull it tight. Here's where I make my first change to Sean's ridge line. When I tie mine, I keep the loop about the same size, but I leave six or eight inches of tag end. Experiment with what works for you, but I realized that with the tag end, in this case, longer is better. You can always trim to fit later. Once you have your extra inches, attach a three or four inch toggle, but make sure your attachment is close to one end. You'll see why this is important later. Taking our bullion, we're gonna wrap it around our improvised tree right here. Taking my other end, I'm gonna pass it through that bullion. And it creates a pocket. I'll grab a small stick for a toggle, place it inside that pocket. You created an improvised Marlin spike hitch quick release. So now when I get to this step, I've got my bowline end with a toggle on it. All I have to do is pass that through here just like he did, put that toggle through, and pull it tight. It's gonna work just like his, only I never lose my toggle. Pull the toggle, and the ridge line should drop. Pull the toggle, and the ridge line should drop. And on my opposite end, I tie the trucker's hitch. A trucker's hitch is a knot that can give you a mechanical advantage in creating a very taut line. It may be tough to tell from the picture here, but it involves passing all of your cordage through an inline loop, winching it down on itself and tying it off with a quick release knot. We are gonna skip this step and we're gonna try something more efficient. What we're gonna be adding to this system next is what's called a figure nine rope tightener. I'll leave a link to it in the description, but it's by a company called Night Eyes. Uh, I've used this thing for a couple of months now during the first bit of the summer, and this thing has been really good. Um, it's easy to make uh, rope nice and tight, I've adapted it for use in this ridge line. I've even adapted a more heavy duty version of it to uh, set up my hammock. So all you gotta do to add your figure nine is loop your free end through and slide it all the way to your toggle end. To use your figure nine, bring it with you to your second tree, wrap your ridge line around the tree and give your figure nine a few twists. This is going to mimic a timber hitch. Three or four ought to do it. Bring your line through loop number two. Apply tension. And then wrap around to slot number three. And you're good. That will hold. This is enough to hang a tarp on, hang some gear on. Should be just fine. One more time. Give your figure nine a few twists to mimic a timber hitch. Bring your line around. Loop two. Slot three. You're good to go. 
All right, we're gonna see how long it's gonna take me to tie my new ridge line system between these two trees, and we're gonna start the clock. Ready, set, go. Putting my line through the pocket in the bowline. Sticking my toggle in there, pulling everything tight. I walk my other toggle to the other end with my figure nine. Come around my second tree. Give my figure nine a couple of twists to simulate a modified timber hitch. Use it as it was designed. Tightens right up. No knots. Stop the clock. Now what I really like about this is that I didn't have to tie a single knot. I never had to use the actual bitter end of either of my ends of the line. So on the bowline end, I ended up putting a modified Marlin spike hitch in there. On the figure nine end, I never had to come to the end of my line. I just used the figure nine as, as it was designed and pull it tight. Here's a reason why I think it's important to do it this way. Keeping that toggle tied to the end where you have your bowline, that means you're never gonna be have to hunt around for a stick. And trust me, if you're trying to set up your ridge line in a hurry, that's because it's raining. And you don't wanna to have to hunt around in the rain for a stick to use as that Marlin spike. What if you're in an area with no sticks? What if you're in the high desert with all you got around you is rocks? Maybe you can find one that'll work. Maybe it'll cut into your line. Who knows? On the other end, on the figure nine end, I like that because although a trucker's hitch will work and that's the traditional method for doing this, I thought of a couple of reasons why it would be okay not to want to tie a knot. What if you're out in the cold and your fingers are numb? You lose that small motor function, your ability to tie that knot may be severely diminished. What if you got gloves on and you can't make the trucker hitch work? That figure nine saves you time and just uses large muscle movements, whole hands and whole arms. All right, now let's talk about how to pack it up. It's just as easy to put away as it is to get out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We move our second toggle over to where the first one is to keep them together. Undo my figure nine. Untwist it, bring that to the first end as well. Drop my toggle, slide everything all the way to the end. Put it between your Vulcan fingers and hang it between your thumb and pinky. When it dangles from about chest high and just touches the ground, start wrapping it around. Fairly tight, but not super tight. You want it to be able to deploy when you need it. Finish it off, tuck it under itself. done. That's what it looks like when it's finished. Fits in a pocket, packs up pretty small. Make sure you got everything you need with you when you're setting up a ridge line. So what we've learned today is how to modify, set up, and take down my version of the Corporal's Corner Quick Deploy Ridge Line. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you learned something. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button or share my video with somebody else who's going to need it and make sure to subscribe so you can catch me for the next one. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.